seven. Uh, good to have you back. Um, I'm gonna do a quick video here of uh, this week's pickups. Uh, I do apologize for uh, the separation from one video to the other, but uh, in most cases, you know, I like to tell you shit happens, but shit really does happen, and um, I apologize for the for the lapse in between the videos. But um, if you're a subscriber, I, I really do appreciate you. Uh, staying subbed on the channel I do uh, do try to make it my best effort to go ahead and provide a week a uh, video a week but if not at least I in between that time I you know I got opportunities to pick up a, a lot more retro stuff and uh, and that's pretty much what this week's pickup video is about and that's um some tasty pickups I mean not not exclusive one out of 500 type pickup uh, titles that, that most people are accustomed to seeing on some other channels but a lot of these are games that I did not have in my collection that now I do and uh, that makes me pretty happy uh, so let's go ahead and cut the chatter and get started on what we picked up and I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the Sega stuff and uh, we get started with this title it was a very fun game for me to uh, have experienced in the arcades um, a lot of people I come across, they were not born, uh, they were either born after the arcade boom or born after, after the arcade bust. And, uh, you, I really liked reliving those memories where, where I used to just get on a bus with a fistful of quarters, go to the arcade and, and, and just stay there for hours and, and and know that the next week or the week after that there would be brand new cabinets brand new games that I that I've heard about on on magazines such as Game Pro or Electronic Gaming Monthly and and seeing them in person and experiencing uh, those those arcade cabinets for the first time you know that those those memories are gonna be with me for a very long time and one of those uh games that I remember playing and just having an amazing experience with was this one, OutRun. And uh, this copy here is for the Sega uh, Master System, of course. Uh, it's it's loose, it's missed, well, not loose, but it's missing the manual, but the card is here, the label's good, and uh, I'm very happy about that. I don't recall if there was an actual uh, Outrun uh, for the Genesis. I know there was an hour in 2019, uh, which you've probably seen in one of my other videos, but I don't know about the classic Outrun. I know they're, the Sega Ages on uh, Sega Saturn had it. Uh, so uh, when I got this copy, I was very happy about it. So Moving on, we have uh, two Genesis titles. And this is, uh, from what I hear, um, renovation, uh, any renovation title is, is, is becoming a little bit more sought after. Uh, I don't know particularly if it's a uh, console based or just across the board but uh, renovation games are are trending up I like to say but um even then you can still get pretty good deals on them even if they're loose and in and, and this in my case I, I went ahead and picked up my first renovation title it's called Dino Land and uh Picked that up for a good deal from a from a local vendor at a flea market, which I hardly ever have good luck uh, getting deals on. But um, I guess that day he he was feeling merciful, so he gave me a good deal on it. So uh, if you're watching, which I'm pretty sure you are, uh, thank you and uh, keep the good deals coming, and I will keep coming back. And if not, you won't see me as much. Next up, I got uh, myself a copy of Gauntlet. Let's see, six, Gauntlet six. Um, this is a top-down perspective game, but um, I had fun playing it, especially with, with two players. Uh, I know you could pick the the golden axe looking dude, the wizard, uh, the chick with the iron bra. I don't know, but it, it's a fun game to play. Let's just put it like that. So it, it's it had to go in my collection. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go into uh, the Sony side of the of this week's pickup and we'll start with the ps1 uh uh titles that i got uh, i have a uh, 
Midway Presents Arcade Greatest Hits, the Atari Collection 2. This one has Paperboy, Gauntlet, Road Blasters, Crystal Castles, Marble Madness, Millipede, and uh, I think that's it. But it was complete, complete and uh, picked it up for a pretty good price. Next, a game that I did not know existed. Uh, I thought while the PlayStation was out, this the series was was done and over with, and um, apparently not. It's a uh, Tiny Toon Adventures: The Great Beanstalk for the PlayStation. I I like to uh, to think that the PlayStation is uh, just like the NES was, where there's so many uh, uh, such a broad scope of titles that that every time you catch one in the wild, you know it, it it's kind of surprising. You're like you know really that actually came out on that console. And this is one of those, well, this is one of those titles, and um, I was pretty happy to pick it up. I'll give it a shot, and if I don't like it, like anything else, I'll go ahead and pass it on to somebody that does. Uh, we're moving on now. Got myself another copy of Tekken 2, which is a must-have for any uh, PlayStation collector. Uh, a great assist copy of Silent Hill. Very happy about that. This one I was looking for, uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to get it uh, complete, but um, I, I have decent luck finding uh, manuals, uh, loose manuals for some reason, on top of the loose discs, which I got friends that like to uh, to tease me a lot because I will always pick up the loose games, but uh, you know, I, I try to give those loose games the same amount of love that I do the, the complete copies because... Um, Part of the adventure is finding stuff that you're missing, and in most cases, it's the manual that's missing. Uh, the, min the missing uh, manual that I speak of is for Doom on the PlayStation. Uh, there was uh, a lot of arguments, a lot of debates whether this version of Doom was as good as the Saturn version or vice versa, and um, I'm hoping to one day. Uh, come up with my own decision on that because I don't have a copy of Doom on the Saturn yet um, so if you're watching you have one please look it up thank you next uh, I have a copy of Dino Crisis on the PlayStation and it is loose but it's kinda cool that it was because it came in a Funko Land slip for any of you guys that they used to frequent this place in the 90's this will bring you back uh, give you a nostalgia uh, flashback and it was Funko Land to me in my opinion was basically uh, a precursor to GameStop but it was a little bit more dedicated and um, they had a lot better selection uh, you could try out almost any game that was in that uh, in that business at the time and and I had a lot of good memories there I remember uh, picking up uh, uh, my Sega Saturn on the launch day at Funko Land. Uh, there were a couple other places like Electronics Boutique and uh, I think it was called Babbage's and KB Toys where they were not available but they were available in Funko Land. So that was, that was an awesome day for me um, picking up that Sega Saturn from Funko Land. So I brought up some memories. Uh, next we have a Game Shark CDX and that is for I believe the Sega Dreamcast. This is my second one that I've come across. And from what I understand, it was the disc and uh, a little pack that you put in the, the VMU slot uh, in the Sega Dream Dreamcast controller, and that would enable you to uh, use cheat codes on that particular console. Uh, next, we got uh, Legend of Mana for uh, PlayStation. It's always a good day when you can pick up RPGs at a good price uh, when you're out in the wild hunting. So I love the cover art. Uh, Squaresoft has my respect, of course, for you know all the titles that they that they've done in the past. So it's always good to pick that up. I uh, got another, well, not a gun, another, but this is a another Dragon Ball GT game in my collection. This is Dragon Ball GT Final Bout from Atari. Then we have another RPG. This one's from Konami. It's called Vandal Hearts. That's the double double disc uh, version. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I like to think now on the PlayStation I have the complete series of Tomb Raider. Uh, so I'm not sure if these are duplicates that I have in my hand right now or 
there are a couple of these that I might need. I'm not sure. I gotta go ahead and double check. But I have the whole Tomb Raider series here in my hand. It's uh, the Greatest Hits edition of the first Tomb Raider release. Tomb Raider 2. Tomb Raider 3. And Tomb Raider The Last Revelation. Not too sure if this was the last uh, Tomb Raider on uh, on the PlayStation, the original PlayStation console. But if it is, it would be pretty cool to know that I have the complete series already. So, And this was in a span of one week that I picked up all these Tomb Raider copies. So uh, that's pretty awesome. Not at the same place, uh, but you know, in between uh, places that, that I frequent when I do go hunting. So... Now we're going to go to the PlayStation 2, and I uh, picked up, this one's loose, but um, it has, has pretty good value for it. Uh, I have my copy that I picked up brand new uh, at the store at the time when it did come out, but when you get these games and you get them at, at the prices that you do when you do get them, uh, they, they're really, really hard, practically impossible to pass up, and that's uh, Def Jam Fight for New York, and this is the PlayStation 2 copy. So uh, I will find a happy home for it eventually, because uh, I'm pretty sure there's somebody out there that has the case, that has the manual, but doesn't have the actual game. So uh, if you're watching and you need that, I got it. Next place is Sin 2 game. This is another game that I had no idea existed, but uh, it's pretty cool that I did find it. It's called Indigo Prophecy, and it's from Atari. Uh, it looks like one of those survivor horror uh, games um, and it's one of those games too that every choice you make uh, alters the ending uh, to the game so there I'm pretty sure there's multiple endings between five and six maybe even more uh, fortunately even though it's cool to have these games in my case I have two daughters and they love playing games and they love watching me play the games I don't think I'm going to be able to keep this in the house, so I will find a happy home for it also. And let's see what else we got. We got this one I'm kind of excited to play, but at the same time I'm kind of nervous that it's going to end up being pretty crappy, but I don't remember it when it did come out. It's called the Aliens vs. Predator Extinction, and it's from Electronic Arts. Uh, have uh, medium to high expectations for it because I love Aliens, I love the Predator franchi franchise, but I'm not too sure if this game is any good or not. We'll figure it out, I guess. Uh, picked up a copy here of Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects, and from what I could tell, it's a fighting game. I love fighting games, but Electronic Arts. I think Electronic Arts, dare I say, is the LGN of modern times. Can I actually make that assumption? Uh, if you agree, let me know. If you disagree, let me know. And uh, last but not least, we have a PS3 pickup. Uh, very, very weird that I had only have one PS3 pickup for this week, but um, I pretty much have one PS3 pickup. And that's uh, Alpha Product Pro Alpha Protocol the espionage RPG and that's from Sega anything Sega I pick it up because I love Sega so it's complete got it at GameStop for, for a pretty good deal I think it was about three or four bucks so I was happy about that alright next uh, when I do go to certain places uh, let's say storage units for instance um, one of the, the best parts about digging through that stuff is finding boxes that have uh, old school pull out posters from, from consoles or from uh, manufacturers, you know what I'm saying? And in this, this case, when I found this, it, was, it brought back some, uh, some good memories. And that's um, this was bundled in the original Game Boy when you bought it. Uh, if I recall, you had uh, the unit, the game. Uh, maybe some headphones and then you had this little baby pullout poster which is in really good condition I can't wait to go ahead and take this somewhere and have it framed and put it in my game room uh, but yeah I, I love finding stuff like that all the time because it brings back a lot of nostalgia and and, and it, it's great it's great to go ahead and decorate uh, your game room uh, 
you know, I, I try to mix that in with my kids' uh, pictures, too, that they draw for me. So, I, to me, it's a good tandem. So, uh, let's go ahead and round out the video with the Nintendo pickups. I'm taking too long, obviously. Uh, picked up my first Waybird. Got it for a buck. It's missing the, the back plate and, you know, the receiver. But it's a Waybird, and I got it for a dollar. Uh, I was pretty happy about that. Uh, next, we have some uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. And uh, one DS title. That DS title is Okami Den. Bought this at GameStop. Uh, have the original Okami. Uh, and uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching it because I didn't actually play it. But um, I got the sequel in the hopes that uh, the kids will be into it as well. Love the art. Uh, love the graphics. Uh, love the, the initial narrative in the whole game. It's, it's pretty awesome. Next, uh... I had no idea this game existed on the Game Boy Advance, and it does. It's the Sega Smash Pack. Uh, it only has three games in it, but there are three games that are pretty awesome to have. Next, Donkey Kong Country. Gotta have that if you got it in advance. And Mario Party Advance. Did not know there was a Mario Party on the Advance, so that's pretty awesome to have, too. And um, old school Game Boy game, we have Star Wars. Which I think if you have any Nintendo console, you gotta have at least one Star Wars game. Don't know if this game sucks, but I'm going to go ahead and try it out. If not, you know how it goes. I'm going to find a happy home for it. Then we have some NES pickups. Uh, these I got a good deal from from a friend uh, named uh, Chris. If you're watching, thanks. I uh, appreciate it, bro. I got uh, Super C and Terminator 2. LJN, you already know. Oh, man, I'm nervous just thinking about it. And I got, uh, this is another arcade hit that I love playing as a kid. It's called Nork. It's called Nark. <laughs> uh, it says, no one had the guts until now. And you're basically just murdering every crackhead and, and dope dealer that's, that's on screen. So, for first time, it was pretty graphic and, and gruesome. But, um, over the years, I, I grew to appreciate it for what it was. And that's just basically a fun game. Uh, next, we have Super Nintendo games here. I picked up uh, Super Mario World. Label's pretty beat up, which I was sad about, but I'll do the best I can to bring it back to life and pass it on to somebody that doesn't have it. Uh, next, Pack Attack from Namco. And I was hoping to find this on the Genesis first, but I found it on the Super Nintendo, which is, I think, just as good. Uh, Captain America and the Avengers. And got an N64 game here. Uh, I have a, my first copy ever of Wave Race 64. Which, from what I hear, is a fun game. Now we're going to the GameCube. We have Rugrats Royal Ransom. Hoping my kids like this game, but if they don't, I'll go ahead and have to pass it along. Then we have... Uh, Probably a lot of you don't remember, but this was a Sylvester Stallone movie, and from what I heard, it was pretty awful. It's called Driven. I'll give it a shot. I like racing games. If I could customize them and, and, and make my own player, maybe, then I'll keep it. If not, pass it along. And this one I was happy to find. Uh, Namco Museum. And uh, it says it has three new games plus other classics or whatever. But on the cover, it has Pac-Man Arrangement, Pole Position 2, Dig Dug. Arrangement and Galaga Arrangement. So I love these compilation games. Whenever I see them, I pick them up, even if I have them or not. Next, we are going to go to the Wii, and that's going to go ahead and round out the whole video. Uh, I ended up picking up five uh, games. One looks to be Shovelware, and uh, one looks to be an old-school TurboGrafx-16 game, if I'm not mistaken. And the one I'm referring to is Saint. Don't know what the game was uh, initially called on the Turbo Graphics, but um, I do remember another channel covering it and speaking about uh, said subject. that could have been Metal Jesus Rocks. So if you want to go ahead and look that up, uh, feel free to. He, he has a great channel, and uh, he always puts out pretty good videos. Uh, next, that shovelware, shovelware copy I was talking about, Chicken Shoots. It's one of those games I, I hope the kids like, but if they don't, pass it on. And after that, uh, three copies of uh, of Wii titles that I was looking for that I think are staples to have on that console. And that is Kirby's Epic Yarn, Pac-Man Party, 
And last but not least, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Uh, this game was much needed for Nintendo, and that's my opinion only because if you played the, the last Donkey Kong title before this, which was Donkey Kong 64, you would have to agree with me. Donkey Kong 64 was straight garbage. So this game had to come out at the time that it did to revitalize that franchise. And uh, I was happy they did because I, I've seen some uh, walkthroughs of it and some, some initial gameplay uh, screenshots and all that. And uh, I was very happy to see Donkey Kong back in the mix. Uh, it was much needed for Nintendo and much needed for the Wii, I guess. Um, but that may be a topic that is debatable. So um, that pretty much rounds out uh, this week of pickups. Uh, I'd like to thank you always for watching, for subscribing, for passing along and sharing the videos. Uh, I am truly grateful for that. I can never thank you enough. And uh, until next time, God bless, stay safe, and happy hunting.